Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of St. Quentin, also known as the Battle of Geis, fought between Germany and France, located near Geis, France, on August 29, 1914. After the defeat of the French forces at the Battle of Charleroi, the French were desperate to stop German commander Bulow's advance with his second army. What was worse, the British expeditionary force was also retreating, but not in the same direction. This left a widening gap between the British and French forces. French Army Commander Joseph Joffrey decided he needed to do something about this in order to counterattack by French General Charles Lanrezac's 5th French Army on August 29th. The goal was to establish a defensive line on the River Aisne. Timing, however, was shattered when General Lanrezac initially refused the order to put his men on the line. Lanzarek would not submit to Joffrey's orders until Joffrey had to go to him personally to explain it. The plan was for Lanzarek to fill the gap at St. Quentin and push the German troops back. Initially, Commander Douglas Haig, leader of the British Expeditionary Forces First Corps, volunteered to assist, but the overall BEF commander, Sir John French, denied that in the end. This left the French troops to do this by themselves. On a streak of bad luck, before the French could attack, German General von Bülow's men had captured French intelligence outlining this attack. On August 29th, the French 5th Army attacked St. Quentin, but with a prepared German army waiting for them. This resulted in the French troops of the 18th Corps to fail spectacularly, and only through a rally that the French General Louis Franche d'Espere, remember him from our earlier battles, were they able to stop the retreat. Even with this short-term victory, French command could see they would not be able to hold out, so Commander Joffrey ordered Lanzarek to retreat, which Lanzarek did the next morning on August 30th. German General von Bülow saw an opportunity to push, but decided ultimately he wanted to secure the safety of his men first, so he allowed the French to retreat unmolested. The end result was the Germans defeating a largely overpowering French force. The French had 13 divisions that attacked, while the Germans only had half that at six and a half divisions. The total casualties for the French were 10,000 men wounded and killed, and 1,700 men captured, and the Germans lost 7,000 men killed and wounded. Well, that's it, folks. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.